Hey, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I'm also a skincare and beauty blogger and I am now an author. I just wrote my first ebook. It's on manifesting. I am just a master manifester and I can bring anything into my life. So I wrote a book of all my trips and tips tips and tricks, and it's up for sale now on my website, planetlauren.com. Today we are going to be talking about the hair, and right now I'm in the process of sort of retraining my curls, getting them back. I have naturally curly, wavy hair, and two years ago I decided to get a keratin straightening treatment. It was amazing at the time, and the sheer wonder of being able to let my hair air dry, and the air dries perfectly straight, still amazes me to this day. I did get the treatment one more time, which was a year ago, and probably around six months ago, it was kind of starting to bother me, and I felt like, you know, I've been on this incredible journey of just really figuring out who I am and accepting myself and really coming to terms with so many times that I would say maybe I've betrayed myself in life, and one of the things is I've just come to realize that my natural beauty, like what I was given, is what works best for me. And that includes my incredibly pale skin, which I masked with self-tanner for years, and also my naturally curly, wavy hair. I still like to blow dry it straight sometimes, but I also wanna wrap the natural curls. So I've been working on rehabbing my curls, bringing them back, and today I'm going to share with you what I'm doing. This is also what I've always done with my curls. It's apparently called the curly girl method or similar to the curly girl method. I've been doing it since I was about 15 years old, so I don't know, we didn't have any methods back then. But what I did back then still works for me very well to this day, so we're gonna get started with it right now. Step number one to getting hair curly is you have to have your hair completely saturated with water, like completely saturated. So I'm gonna wet my hair right now. And now I am just brushing my hair out with a wide tooth comb. You can find these combs for pretty cheap at just anywhere, drugstores, Amazon, wherever you shop. Just parted my hair where my natural part is. So for you, just do the same. And now I'm going to do step one of the products. And the first product I use is a mousse. This one is the Suave Captivating Curls Whipped Cream Mousse, which is the perfect name for it because it really does look like whipped cream. And if I was younger, I would totally prank my brothers with this. Maybe I still will. So what I do is I just put about a generous dollop of it in my hand, rub my hands together, and then I flip my hair upside down and I start scrunching. So this is gonna be kind of interesting doing this for the camera, but we're just gonna make it work. Okay. And I can hear it crunching up a little bit. This is going to give just my curls, my hair, some extra volume. And I find that it also helps to define the curls as well. I have been doing this for years. The next step is to flip the hair back up, take the towel that was wrapped around me, and to continue scrunching it just with the towel in my hands. And make sure you do both sides. My hair is incredibly long right now. It, I don't normally have it this long, but unfortunately, my hairdresser has had COVID a few times in, I don't know, the last six months. So every time I have a hair appointment, uh, she's not there, so I just get it, I end up just getting it colored, not cut, because I like her to cut my hair. So it's gotten really long because of it. The next step is to use a gel. Now, you wanna be careful with the type of gel you use because there are the men's gels out there that are really hard and kind of crunchy and very defining. There's also gels that are, almost just water, and I find that they don't really sculpt or hold my curls. This one is a great one. This is by Garnier Fructus Curl Scrunch Controlling uh, Gel. And I like this one because I've been using it and it's done a good job. 
It's also cost efficient and I've never really liked salon gels. I've never been a big fan of salon gels. I just feel like they don't do what the drugstore ones do and that's what I want. So I put about a quarter size amount into my hand. Sorry, I meant to show that to you. I was too busy talking and I have to do my other side. So I'll show you right now, about that much. And I flip my hair over to the other side and I just scrunch it up. Make sure I get that product and I hold it quite firm and really just squeeze my hair. And you can see how some of those curls are, you know, they're still there, they're coming back. And when I do get my hair trimmed a little bit, they'll be much more bouncier. But right now they're just, there's a lot of weight on them. So I go back, take the same towel and repeat the same process. Now, usually what I'll do is, actually what I'll do is I'll just check in with you in a little bit to show you how it's drying. I let my curls air dry always, which is why my hair is so healthy when I only wear it curly. And it doesn't take long to air dry. Now I will just go about doing whatever I do in this case. I'm writing a big piece for Cosmo right now. And every 15 minutes, I will just do this one more time with the towel to help get out the excess moisture and just to help define the curls. And just so you can see, when I do this, I am just going like this, just scrunching it in my hand like that. So I will check in with you in a little bit to show you how it is drying. It's been about 20 minutes now and you can see that the curls are starting to dry and they really are starting to form. I'm going to put just a tiny bit more gel into my hair to keep my hair from going too frizzy. It's really prone to frizz and just to help shape those curls a little bit more. It's been, I don't know if I just mentioned this, it's been about 20 minutes. So just like this. And same for the other side. So as soon as it's dry, I will check back in and show you what my hair looks like. Okay, the sun just came out. It's been raining a little bit, which I have to tell you is so exciting. When you live in Dubai, the land of sunshine, 365 days a year. So you can see that my hair now, the curls have dried and this is what I'm working with. I think they're starting to look pretty good again. I mean, they're nothing compared to what they once were, but I know I can get it back to that place. So this is just my ritual for how I do my curls every single day, trying to rehab them. And oh my goodness, I would tell my daughter not to ever do the hair straightener, but her hair is naturally pinned straight. And guess what she wants? Curly hair. So with that being said, I think we need to just embrace what we have, love it, and know that it was meant for us. On that note, I'm going to link you right here. This is my morning skincare routine at 39 years old.